Congregation, let me invite us to open our Bible this morning. We're going to look at three separate passages, beginning in the book of Jude. Of course, there's no chapter notation given for Jude because there is only one chapter, so we'll look at verses 1 through 7 of Jude, then to Luke 16, and then land at our text, Matthew 26, 24. Now, Lord willing, we'll return to our series in Mark next week. So be mindful and prayerful about that as we come to the feeding of the 5,000. But it was a few weeks ago we were uh, visiting and with our son and daughter-in-law in their church, and they had a visiting minister who preached uh, out of Matthew, out of this text. He didn't preach this specific verse, but I don't know how many times I've heard this text, and I know you also have had uh, many occasions of exposure to uh, the various uh, teachings surrounding um, those events of our Lord's sacrifice leading up to the cross. And I'm speaking of the Matthew passage, which we'll get to in a moment, but he was preaching on that passage of the Last Supper, and he didn't preach, as I said, specifically on that verse, but in some way known only to God, the Lord impressed upon my heart the significance of what Jesus himself says there. And we'll get to that very shortly. But let's begin in Jude, and we'll have the first seven verses of Jude before us to consider, and then we'll turn to the next place. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother of James, to those who have been called, who are loved by... 